Oh, I just cannot believe how nice it is. Good morning, world. Drone time. That does look pretty sick. Hello, drone. Okay, bye, drone. Up you go. Goodbye now. Look at this for a panning shot. Look at that. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Look at that. That is a perfect, dr that is a perfect pan shot of the house. What's up, drone? Come to me. Come to me, drone. Hello there. Just don't crash. I'm now looking at the drone to try and fly it. Wait, what? Oh, it's freaking out that I'm stood in front of it. Okay, whoa, 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 stop. Stop beeping. See ya. Oh my God, look how nice it is around here. It's just so green and beautiful. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, come on, drone. I gotta go to Manchester. I gotta go out shopping. Ain't nobody got time for this. Right, let's see if I can land it without crashing it like I did last time. Uh, wish me luck. And attempting to land. Please land. Yes. Successful. That was a successful flight. It's time to go because I've got to get my ass down to Manchester. I actually bought this drone with no idea that it would pick up the microphone from my phone so when I'm flying it I can literally like how people do motor vlogging or like car vlogging or something like that I can do drone vlogging so this this honestly is the perfect oh the battery was loose the entire time it's actually like the perfect setup for me I can travel with this charge it on the go because I've got shitloads of batteries I can charge my phone with the, the spare batteries as well and I can vlog commentate on it as well so I can't wait to just go on random adventures. I just want to always leave one in my car or something and just like throw it up and like have it follow my car because then like I can leave the controller like on my seat in my lap, like just there like that. And because my phone will be there, I can just commentate to it. So it'd be so sick for car reviews and stuff. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Collections, 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 shavers. Well, I've decided to try and get myself a new jacket today and um, definitely don't think I'd ever wear this in my life. But Logan Paul, if you're watching, Treat yourself, brother. I'll find out how much it is. Oh, don't worry. It's only £275 for a jumper with feathers on it. Well, I was like, that's actually not a bad jacket, but then I saw this. Holy shit. Look at that for a bag. It's a fucking shark. I can't see a price tag anywhere, but oh my lord. If I ever saw anyone rocking that on a night out, this is all guys, by the way, I would definitely buy them a drink. I found a jacket that I wanted. It's in the bag. I'll show you when I get home, and you better not judge me, because... I like it, okay? I did some damage, and I'm still going. So good. To say it's a Sunday, it is busy as all fucking Manchester. And this, uh, oh shit, I forgot the name. Uh-oh, that better not be the cinema on fire, because that's where I'm intended on going. Okay, next stop of the day is to visit my mum, which I can't remember which house she lives at. I'm gonna go with this one. I've been here before, but I'm so not convinced that it's actually my mum's house every time I get here, but also look. I have a cold sore, for fuck's sake. I've got like a sausage on my vlogs for the next 20 days. Oh, my mum lives in such a nice house. Like, she, she lives in this little, in the middle of the countryside almost. A nice little garden. Beautiful, I love it. My mum just walked you through When am I buying you a fridge that I offered you for your last birthday or something like that? Uh, when I've had some time at work. Oh, oh, this room feels 10 times cosier than my entire house. Good job. Dr. Darren is now driving me to the shop so I can go and get some cold sore cream. Thank you for being a great guy, man. So I can get some cold sore cream because like, listen, the cold sores are just annoying in general because if you get one in your entire life, say if you kissed someone, like a family member or a girl or a guy, or whatever, you kissed them and they had it, then you basically get it for life. It's an infection and it stays with you. The weird thing of saying it is it's basically like a type of herpes and everyone, that's where everyone goes, hey, you got herpes or whatever. And it's like, well, that's great. Don't feel like saying that out loud, but it's exactly what it is. Like, like I said, you can even get it off your, like your grandma or your mum or something like that. So I'm gonna try and get some cream on it and start getting rid of it ASAP. As soon as my mum's cooked dinner, I might as well take a dessert. So I'm getting one of everything from Mr. Kipling. Mm -hmm. I walked out of there without the cold sore cream and still ended up spending 16 quid. I don't quite know how I managed that. I don't know if you guys can see, I can smell, proper stinks. Yeah. This is the, the smoke in the, in the air is from the fire that I was filming earlier. Apparently it was a factory fire. Hey, I tweeted the photo of it, right? And Manchester Evening News said, can we use your photo for our, our header of the article? I was like, of course you can. <laughs> oh, shout shout out to Manchester Evening News. Thanks, boys. And girls. Got it. 
we got the good stuff. We're gonna be all right. No more, no, no more face aids. All right, I, I, I played it safe. I went, I'm not just getting one, I'm getting two, so. Right, now all I have to do is apply this and then wait apparently eight to 10 days. Uh, gone by. Gone by when? It'd be gone before then. Up, so. I didn't just bring you one dessert of Mr. Kipling's angel slices. I brought you Mr. Kipling Venice Wills. I, are they the same thing? No. I then brought you Mr. Kipling's eight cherry belt quail tarts. I then managed to bring you Mr. Kipling's eight French fancies. I then managed to bring you six Bakewell slices. And then I managed to bring myself. No, that's how I said myself. Some Parodi! Yeah! Are they cold? I hope I didn't buy the non alcoholic one. Is that the non-alcoholic version? <laughs> LOL! No one should ever have the freezer on the top. The freezer always goes on the bottom. It don't! Darren, what is it in your house? Freezer on the bottom. Always! No, 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 no. You said it! <laughs> Actually, you're right, yeah. Freezer, freezer the always goes on the bottom. Don't use my freezer, it's just sat there. I've never used it since. Well, yeah, so if you don't use a freezer, why don't you put it on the bottom? it's just the way it is. But that's not convenient to go down. Yeah, it is. It's more convenient You leave a top. comment right now telling me whether or not your freeze is on the bottom or the top. Don't say it's on the side. It's on either top the, or bottom. On old fridge freezers, yeah. it was always on the top. No, the no because my granddad's was on the bottom. Always. When I was younger, the freezer was always on the top. I don't have her. Right, I'm asking you a question, Cal, and you need to be a witness to this because I need your, your answer, all right? I know you both live together. Makes complete sense, okay? But on a fridge and a freezer like that, which one goes on top? Fridge. Yeah, fridge. That's the freezer. Yeah, but wait, how many times do I have to tell you? I'm not using my freezer. Feed me, feed oh. me, baby. Ooh, make me lose control. Give you some, some, what? Give your son some ham and he will have some fun in my ah! body and... Mine's bigger than yours. Darren, do you want your ham cold? Nobody's listening. Thank you for feeding me, Mom. Well, why the fire then? Oh I love ham. Carl, you have caught the sun so bad, already. Oh! But it's nice! Ah, yeah. Want some ham? I... <laughs> what? <laughs> This photo is so sick. I, I love this. I love this. Yeah, this one again, dude. I, I miss these guys so much. I had such a fun day hanging out with them. I saw dude. this was such a fun day. And I complained to my mum that there's not enough pictures of me like in the house. I know that sounds really selfish, but trust me, my mum does that. But look, she put me on the wall because a fan gave it us. Wait, did did a fan give us that? Yeah. They did, didn't they? Yeah. Ah, oh, I love it. Why do you look like you've just got out of the shower and you wash your hair? Michael. Oh, you actually look like Michael Jackson, so we'll compare it to it. Is this a house for mice? Because they're midgets. Look at them. And your roasties. Tiny. Oh, Maybe there's another one. Uh, bottle, please. Right. <laughs> Cheers. Three. Can't make my mind up. Bloody hell, thanks, mate. So much help, please. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Oh, it's hot. Oh, I'll take that. Yes, give that to me. Me. Yeah. Yes. That's what you get for being the, the, the best, the best child. You're the least favorite child, by the way. Sorry. Mom, have you seen what the lemon biscuits are doing to oh, Look at this. Yeah, that's not going on That's not going on uh, But you might be pregnant. So, is maybe it? somebody's watching could be a doctor and find out whether you're pregnant or just fat. Did Can you tell me if there's a baby in there or a few too many lemon biscuits? It's, Probably, yeah. Is it, what are you going to call if it? Lemon. If it was a girl or a boy, what would you call it? Lemona. Leona. Lemona. Lemon. 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 Lemon or Lemona. Lemon white chocolate. Lemon or Lemona. I can I'm assure you island, that island, is not happening. Island <laughs> lemon, island 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 lemon, Wow. He's always got wig on, white wig, you know, long wig, and, and dressing up as a woman with a handbag and all that. Well, if you like that, it works. Bye, Carl. Bye, Darren. Bye. Bye, Mum. Bye. Bye. Bye, Michael. No! I wanted to come back and watch Better Call Saul the next episode, but it's not available until May 9th. 
I love Netflix, but I don't like it when it does it when you can't binge watch. So, on that though, I'm going to go to bed, and for the rest of every vlog for the next few days, I'm going to have to hide my lip because this cold sore is getting, I want to say getting worse, but it's not. It's in its prime, and then it's going to get better from there on out. But if anyone has any tips for how to deal with cold sores, please tell me. It's one of those things. Once you get it, like I said, like say so from a glass or kissing someone or something like that, once you get a cold sore, you can never get rid of it. Like the cold sore just lays dormant in your system and just like flares up whenever it feels like it. I only notice to get them after a night out where I've been taking like shots of drinks because you know, like you know, take the shot and it's just like a glass that may not have been cleaned properly. So the bacteria in it, I know this scientifically makes no sense, but that's just how it's always happened for me after a night out or something. You might be like, oh, it's because you kissed someone. It's like, well, I didn't, so... I don't know why. So, hopefully this episode didn't gross you guys out a lot. Uh, I'm going to go to bed now. And by I go to bed, I mean I'm going to get out of bed because this is the next morning I'm filming this clip. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, rate, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow at 6pm for the next daily vlog. Because right now, I'm supposed to be going meeting up with Coral. And, um, I was supposed to be there 10 minutes ago. And it's going to take me 20 minutes to get there. So, Carl, if you're watching this... I'm oh, sorry. As always, thanks for watching. And I saw...